This is the light independent stage of photosynthesis, also known as the Calvin cycle. Carbon dioxide from the air diffuses into the leaf for open stomata, most of which are on the underside of the leaf. It then diffuses throughout the air spaces in the spongy mesophyll and reaches the palisade mesophyll layer. Here it diffuses through the thin cellulose walls, the cell surface membrane, the cytoplasm and the chloroplast envelope into the stroma. In the stroma, carbon dioxide combines with a 5-carbon compound, rubulose bisphosphate, which is a carbon dioxide acceptor. The reaction is catalysed by the enzyme rubulose bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase, usually called rubisco. Rubulose bisphosphate becomes carboxylated, which means that it's combined with carbon dioxide, so it now has a carboxyl group. The product of this reaction is two molecules of a three carbon compound, glycerate three phosphate. The carbon dioxide has now been fixed. Glycerate three phosphate is reduced and phosphorylated to another three carbon compound, triose phosphate. ATP and reduced NADP from the light dependent reaction are used in this process. Five out of every six molecules of triose phosphate are recycled by phosphorylation using ATP from the light dependent reaction to three molecules of rubulose bisphosphate. How the products of the Calvin cycle are used. Some glycerate 3 phosphate can be used to make amino acids and fatty acids. Triose phosphate can also be converted to glycerol and this may be combined with fatty acids formed from glycerate 3 phosphate to make lipids. Pairs of triose phosphate molecules combined to form hexose sugars such as glucose. Some glucose molecules may be isomerized to form another hexose sugar such as fructose. Glucose and fructose molecules may be combined to form the disaccharide sucrose, the sugar translocated in phloem substitute. Hexose sugars can be polymerized into other carbohydrates such as cellulose and starch, which are polysaccharides. This concludes the Calvin cycle.